Okay, I'm gonna show you how to lift something with a jar, glass jar, and a candle. We're gonna use fire, and we're gonna use suction. So I need to explain both of those things. Okay, let's start with suction. So this is just a, um, I don't even know what you call these things. It's a craft, see it says, I don't know what it is. So it's, it's a syringe, it's, it's a basic syringe. Let's just put this in this water. I added some dye in there so you can see what's going on. I put it in the water and I pull this up and there may be no surprise, but the water goes up. So what pushes that water up here is this. The atmosphere is pushing the water up. So I'm, by pulling up the plunger, I'm reducing the pressure above the water so the air pushes the water up. And that is the key to suction. Okay, let's use this cup to lift a plate. This plate is this styrofoam plate. It doesn't have very much mass. And I've already melted a hole in the middle of that so I can stick my syringe in there like that. So this should fit airtight. Let's see if it does. Now I'm going to pull the air out of the cup while it's attached there, and I can, I can use this as a suction to lift up the cup, the plate. I don't think this will work. Let's try it. It's not, it's not getting suction. It's almost, it's almost got it. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, here's some soap. I'm just gonna use soap on the edge of this to kind of make um, a little seal, a little like nice, this is soft, the soft end of the soap. Put it all around there. And now I'm gonna stick it on there. And that actually by itself lifts it up, but I'm still going to, just a little bit. I'm still going to stick this in here. Now let's try it again. Oh, that was bad. Okay, now I can feel it because you can you can feel the syringe doesn't want to come up. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, now I've added some soap up here. So hopefully we can get this thing to work. There we go. There, and I've pushed the air back out and it falls. So there's your basic suction lifting thing. The maximum suction depends on how much you reduce the pressure in here and how big this thing is. You, you get this thing big enough and you can lift a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, but we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna use a syringe to suck. We want to use something else. We're going to use fire. Okay, watch this. So here's my blue water, and there's a candle in there. Let's see if I can light that. Try not to tip it over. Okay, so there is a chemical reaction in the fire. Now I'm going to cover that with this jar. Let's watch what happens. You've probably seen this before. The fire is still burning. Okay, but watch what happens. Okay, it goes out and if you can see the water level in the jar is rising and in fact the water level is now higher in the jar than it is in the glass. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so what's happening here? Okay, so fire is a, is a chemical reaction that uses oxygen. And in the process, it takes two molecules of oxygen and converts that into one molecule of carbon dioxide. And yeah, you think, oh, O2, O2, but that's actually not where it works, okay? So it actually does produce less gas inside. So now there's less gas inside of here, which reduces the pressure. It's the same as sucking air out. That means the atmosphere pushes it down and put, that goes up. Now we can do the same thing with lifting. Okay, so now I have my fire going. I have my jar, which I've put soap on the edge so that I can get a good seal. And I'm using this board. You could use anything that is nice and smooth that will prevent air from getting into the glass. So let's go ahead and put this on top and let the fire burn out. So now it's important as the oxygen is converted into carbon dioxide that we don't let 
extra air in because now the pressure inside is getting reduced. And you can see uh, some water vapor too. Okay, so the fire is out. So now I can lift this up like that. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Now, there is one problem. Suppose you wanted to lift a glass sideways like this. When you pull on it, then you're gonna get the, in order to lift it up this way, see the frictional force, you would need a frictional force to pull it up, so it's a little bit tarter. But this is something that you could try at home.